Brian here with HelpSellMyRV.com out of Louisville, Kentucky, where all RVs are for sale by owner. I'm going to do a walk around on this beautiful 2013 Fleetwood Storm 32 BH double slide bunkhouse class A gas motorhome. Go ahead and get started on the inside and then I'll finish up by showing you the outside. Exterior length from what the brochure tells me is 31 feet and exterior height to the large 15,000 BTU AC unit is 12 feet. Give you an idea of the floor plan here before I get started. If the dealer was going to take this in on trade and evaluate the condition, uh, 1 through 10, 10 being the best, I think they would definitely rate it an 8 or a 9. Uh, the tires do need to be replaced, which is a real simple. Uh, thing to do but anyway just one of those things okay let's go ahead and get started uh, this is going to be a double slide coach the first slide out accommodates back up here accommodates the kitchen and the sleeper sofa I would say it's uh, definitely going to be uh, 10 maybe 12 foot long and about uh, two foot deep in the kitchen area Three burner gas cooktop. Front one usually is a high output. Nice oven. Microwave. Not sure what they're calling the color of the cabinets. Maybe a maple. And it does have a, like a brushed nickel finish on all your hardware. Nice double bowl stainless steel sink. Pull out Moen style sprayer faucet, which is nice. Nice backsplash. I'm not sure if that's factory or if that was done aftermarket. Pretty neat. On your sofa, this is a jackknife sleeper sofa. The back and the bottom lay down like a futon. It is ultra leather. Kind of zoom in on the condition. Uh, definitely normal wear and tear. There's no real scratches or anything that would be a concern uh, to a potential buyer. And the color is going to be tan on all your ultra leather. All right, and you do have night shades. Okay, spin around here. This is going to be the boot dinette. Boot dinette breaks down into a bed. Just put that table down, lay out the cushions, and you can sleep. Definitely uh, two kiddos, one grown adult. Uh, I would say this coach sleeps about 8, but the brochure I believe says sleeps 10. So, but definitely 8 comfortably. This is going to be uh, a power lift bed. Uh, anyway, that comes down for video sake. I'm not going to operate it, keep my videos down. But it's pretty simple. You just put the uh, bed down. There's a little button here. And it does have safety and everything. So it takes a couple, uh, maybe 30 seconds to put the bed down. And there is a TV right there, and I can operate that uh, little lever here. Moves the TV out, which is pretty cool. You get the idea. And not sure what the size is on the TV. Maybe a, a 26 inch, maybe. And uh, while we're still here in the booth area, uh, stereo CD and it's going to be where you control all your audio, video, equipment, and paint around here. I'll do the cockpit in the end. Uh, all your flooring is all that um, uh, residential style vinyl flooring. It looks like a, like a plank. Easy to clean. Nice plank wood. Okay, refrigerators. Uh, looks like it's going to be uh, maybe an 8 cubic foot. A Dometic refrigerator with the wood paneling on the front. That may have been an option or a part of a package. There's your Dometic badge right there. Just turn it on. A couple of hours later, you are going to have a cold fridge. Open that up for you. And going into the side all hallway, this is going to be your second slide. It accommodates. This is another boot dinette and I'll put this bed up here but this is where the bunk beds go I didn't break down the table just for the video sake because I'm gonna put the bed up and show you what it looks like when uh, when you want to sit down and dine 
and the uh, super slide I'm sorry this is a super slide but uh, this slide out is going to be uh, at least 10 to 12 foot long and definitely again two feet deep and let's, I'm going to do this one handed uh, give me an idea you can sleep one definitely one grown adult there and then one there when you break down that table but uh, all you do put that up it's on gas assist struts put it up like that and then let me grab this handle and locking mechanism locks into that there you go did it one handed there we go you can sit there and if you want you can watch TV a little TV right here probably a little uh, 16 inch flat screen area for your gaming devices and nice storage here for odds and ends and while we're here I'll show you the bathroom foot flush porcelain toilet nice medicine cabinet not just a mirror let me show up that shower with skylight Oh, nice sprayer too, right there. And yeah, it's it's a uh, it's got a ride instead of the toilet, more comfortable. Uh, you do have an exhaust fan right there. I do want to point out you do have ducted AC, ducted heat all the way through, and you do have a soft touch vinyl ceiling, easy to clean. And some companies even say there's an insulation factor or benefit to the soft touch vinyl ceiling. Uh, this is uh, for curtains. You want to hang up the curtain. I'm not sure where the curtain is for privacy for the bunkhouse area. And walking into the master bedroom. This is going to be a queen bed. Queen bed does lift up. And there's storage up underneath. Nice reader lights. More storage there. Nice rear window. Uh, oh. Uh, little latch here, plastic latch is broken. It's it's a five dollar part. Anyway, and easy fix. Uh, nice desk drawer. This keeps coming out. It will slowly come out here in a second, but nice desk area. I do check all coaches and RVs for water damage. I check in the corners, see if I see any wrinkling in the wall board. Did not find any issues. And again, our closet space is there. Kind of paint around here. Show off that solid uh, wood pocket door there for privacy from the bunkhouse room into the master bedroom. Okay. Thermostat control there. Uh, Going to be for your furnace, the 40,000 BTU furnace. And again, your AC is going to be the large 15,000 BTU AC unit. And again, all ducted all the way through. All right. You see, this does have a quick dump feature. You can shut off these louvers here, and uh, you'll have ducted AC. But if you want to do a quick cool off, open up these ducts. It's called a quick dump. Pretty neat. Okay. Going into the cockpit area here. The cockpit, uh, the seats are showing uh, signs of wear. These are all, the, the coach, by the way, has all flex steel furniture in it. But um, uh, there is wear. I would put a definitely just get a nice seat cover. Uh, they make really awesome seat covers for these RVs, and uh, no, no one would ever you know. So pretty easy fix. And let's point out the co-pilot seat. Yeah, just get two seat covers, and you're ready to go. And this may be an extra wide co-pilot seat. There's your flex steel badge right there. Okay, it's going to be your st stereo here, and it may be Bluetooth. I have to double check on that. And you do have side view, side mounted uh, cameras integrated into the uh, chrome heated side mirrors. I'll show you when we get outside. All you have to do is turn the turn signal on, uh, and it basically shows your blind spots. These are going to be your uh, thermostat controls here, generator start button there, and you also have another one that I'll show you in the monitor panel next to the booth. A uh, nice radio button there. Uh, let's go ahead and show the mileage there. 
Uh, currently, the coach has 36,774 miles on it. Start up this engine to show that there's no check engine light or anything like that. Parking brake is on. Okay. And over here, it's going to be your uh, four point auto level. Hit a few buttons, and a couple of minutes later, you are leveled up. There's going to be your auxiliary uh, start button, which ties your house battery and your chassis battery together right there. There's going to be your lights, obvious to figure out. It's going to be your power sun visor. There we go. And it goes all the way up. You get the idea on that. And light switches for your headlights, and it's going to be your uh, switches for your heated remote mirrors. Okay. Oh, you do have storage up there for the co pilot and pilot. And again, there's your TV. And one last look at the floor plan there. Okay. Uh, this is going to be your monitor panel. Monitor panel shows you where you are uh, on your freshwater tank, which is I believe 60 gallon, and your gray and black tank, I believe they're five, 35 gallon. Your gray tank is your shower and sink, and the black is a toilet. LP tank is I believe 14 gallon, and it's almost full. Main battery, which is good, and auxiliary battery, which are good. Water pump, easy to figure out. Water heater, six gallon gas electric, direct spark ignition water heater, flip the switch on. Whether you're boondocking or you're hooked up to shore power, 15 minutes later you've got hot water. This is going to be your generator stop and start button, which I'm going to kick off here in a second. And auxiliary battery on and off. So, uh, and this is going to be your switch for your power loft bed. These are going to be your slide out buttons. It even tells you what to do in case you're trying to figure out why the slide outs aren't coming out. It tells you all the safety right here. And this is going to be your button for your TV. And the hours on the Jenny are currently. 211 hours, almost 212 hours. Let's kick off this generator. So I'm not yelling when we get outside. Okay. Power triple step entry. All right, the sun's out. Kind of back up here. Show off that full body paint. Exterior uh, is beautiful. There are uh, a few little areas that I'll show you, little small spots. It's no big deal, no big issue. Go ahead and show it to you right now when I'm talking about it. Awning uh, has been replaced, but it got caught in a windstorm, and the awning uh, put a little scratch right there in the full body paint, and one right there, and there's two on the back side that I'll show you. Other than that, this coach is pristine. The tires do need to be replaced. So, your chrome heated side mirrors right here with the integrated camera right there. 19.5 wheels with the simulator. Hubcaps, and they are original. Show off. This is going to be your LP tank. Yeah, go ahead and show you. LP tank there, 14 gallon. Storage there, and it is past there. Uh, this is going to be your button or your uh, a gravity fill for your freshwater tank, which is, I believe, 60 gallon. More storage there. Lots of exterior storage on this coach. More storage there. Roto cast compartments, easy to clean out, and they do have a drain in them. So if there's any moisture in there, it will drain out. More pass through storage there. Let's uh, back up. Before I do, let's show off that storm badge. Show off that full body paint. Your awning is going to be a 10 foot manual awning. And I did check for delamination, which is water damage. That bubbling you see on the outside, that's usually water uh, uh, delamination. Did not find any issues. I do check for stress cracks around the slide outs. Little cracks that happen uh, during transport a lot of times. It just vibrates and cracks the fiberglass. Did not find any issues. Bumper here is going to be 5,000 pound uh, hitch rating. Show off the underneath. There's your auto leveling jacks right there. Two up in the rear. Uh, 80 gallon fuel cell, by the way. Back up, show that back. Does have backup camera. Nice ladder to get up on your full walk on roof to service your large 15,000 BTU AC unit. Beautiful paint job. And show off more storage. 
This is going to be up underneath the queen bed and you can access it inside too. Just It's got gas assist struts. You see the struts there. Just enormous amount of storage. That's that pass through in the rear that I should just showed you on the other side. It's going to be your water hookups area here. An easy service to water pump right there. And there's your water filtration. Whole house water filtration. This is a 30 amp coach. There's your 30 amp cord. It's going to be where you hook up your sewer hose. Pretty easy to figure out. And you do have uh, forced heat in the water uh, hookups area. So you can go into extended seasons if you wanted that option, you have it. Uh, black tank sewer flush rinses out your toilet instead of dragging a hose inside. City uh, water fill for hooking up when you're uh, hooked up to campsite. Obviously your gas hookup, cable hookup, outside shower, hot and cold running water. That's your furnace exhaust right there, 40,000 BTU furnace. Pan down the side there. There are no rocks, chips, or anything like that that I found down below, which usually you would find on a coach of this age. You'd find some kind of wear and tear. But the owners, there are second owners, and the only reason why they're own, uh, selling it is because uh, I think they're going to research some other RVs, maybe Class C or something like that. Um, yeah, going to get ahead of myself. Generator, 4000 own in generator uh, it is gasoline fed and that's more storage oh, that's that pass through and more storage all right there's your water heater right there oh you do have the slide out awning package on this coach too And chrome heated mirrors, a oh, one piece windshield 2013 on a gas motorhome. Uh, that's kind of a big deal. Beautiful front end on that, beautiful headlights. Oh, uh, the two scratches on the back side, they're so minor. Uh, actually, right there, maybe it was one. No, here it is. Okay, yeah. That and that. So there's one, two, three, four, five little scratches. Little tiny scratches. I'm pretty particular when I do my walk arounds. Sometimes if I didn't point it out, you probably wouldn't even notice it. But anyway, beautiful coach. If you want to come and see the coach, just call the number on the ad. You deal directly with the owner. If you like this video, I'd appreciate if you get a thumbs up on YouTube. If you want to keep up to date on RVs coming for sale by owner, you can always follow HelpSellMyRV.com on Facebook, Twitter, Pinterest, and YouTube.